Hi, hi, I'm Doug. Just like to introduce myself. This is my first sort of YouTube video of me in it. So I want to introduce my shape. This was, you know, it was 17 years ago. I was coming up and I was trying to work out uh, a deterministic universe using my Mendelbrot set. Um, I'd used a bit of Quantonians, found the, the whole thing spun around in a lathe. Um, and sort of just turned. It wasn't quite the complexity that I was looking for. Um, and it happened, oh, I was going to hold the cube right now. And I was just trying to work out what sort of mass, oh, how could I make this, this 3D shape I thought would be out there. I was holding a Rubik's Cube and um, was rotating it this way and that way and, and that became the operations involved in creating the mass which then when I applied to the computer from initially when I was trying to work out you know what is the question mark what is the question mark that can contain the set and I came across this is my first shape that I came across and the first sort of illustration of it Was there. I could either express the, the shape of it, or I could have the outline, the form of it, as we know, with like all the fractals and the beautiful patterns. Um, the form is really pretty, and the outline, it's okay. And I'm like, the shape, I mean, it was really the shape that I was after. The form is a lot of information there. Um, and then that brought on, can I come across this whole simplistic model? And that's what I've got here, the simplistic model of, of complexity. And in, in this model here I have it, so I have my, my, the shape, and then I have the form, and then I found that I had cross sections here of, of evolving similarity. So it wasn't, and I also had, um, and, and this shape never decayed on this side. It, it would just be, but always different. Every snowflake, I mean, you see, well, every snowflake is unique. And you, this is a concept of uniqueness. And what was interesting about this this shape here is every cross section is unique, except for one or two special places. You've got the cross section running across, and then the one going through the plane or, or the level of the plane. And then I really like the pattern that we have down here, where we have um, almost like a weather map, this beautiful evolving picture. And I call this, as I said before, the simplistic model of complexity. Because it's just so simple to compare to the real world out there. So much more. Well, this is just basically the introduction to what I want to show you with. with um, uh, to all the models that I've got on my journey of how we go about observing complexity. What I want to introduce you to is the whole concept of, of that shape which is 3D and then how it moved on to looking at 4D and, and, and the peculiarities that we get, the, the duality of viewpoints of um, observing the same shape but it appears to have two opposing properties. 